Well, holy smoke is no jokers, guys. A nuke just went off in the online gaming community. Suckers are also bringing Dr. Disrespect into the story and they're dragging him in. But this story is to do with Sketch. Now, Sketch is an online streamer and needless to say, the situation ended up getting real sketchy though. Yay! Like the video if you love your mama, guys. Let's go for two likes on the video. But the story is so wild here that people are finding out some internet detectives have dug up his past, okay? And they have caught him being on OnlyFans. Now, you can see like uh, Suckers are saying that yep because of his glasses because of the pimple on his forehead that it's a perfect match and apparently he's accused of second bbc's i'm not making that up okay guys uh, like for the first time ever i'm not making this up yeah people are saying he was doing like uh bbc's and suckers are saying that he was on uh only fans and i don't know much about him but people are also saying that he played a character of a disabled uh, uh he might be disabled he might be mentally challenged i'm not sure but people are saying he is mentally challenged but people are also saying that bro so how did you know how to suck a bbc right so it, his past has been dug up and he also has responded so we're gonna hear from from him in just a little bit as well this situation is wilder than johnny sin's movies right uh, and apparently a streamer also came forward and said that one day he caught uh, a sketch sleeping on a couch with his butt up and he knew <laughs> not not my words uh, i will back it up with receipts so uh get ready for this one like the video if you love your mama guys roll it this sketch situation is crazy bro if you don't know who sketch is he's a streamer who recently gained popularity on tiktok and other parts of the internet for his catchphrase saying what's up brother this allowed him to gain hella popularity landing him brand deals and even giving him a chance to announce a draft pick for his favorite team the houston texans while i don't okay. really watch sketch at all i always see him go viral for something positive like taking pictures with cancer survivors and basically being an inspiration oh, man, for the youth good. now it was recently okay. a 12 hours ago to inspiration for the youth man damn <laughs> Damn, bro. This, this is inspiration for the youth, guys. Internet is in a frenzy after he was accused of being a zesty OF creator before he became famous. There was a YouTube video dropped by someone by the name of Pocketbook titled The Real Sketch, The Untold Story of Jamie Moore. Whoa. That reveals some insane details that we're about to get into right now. Kylie Cox, no he online started? sketch or the sketch reel, was previously an LGBTQ plus adult content creator. I don't know who edited this thing, but like... This 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 don't really look like him. I ain't gonna lie. It don't really look like him. He used names. Uh, get, get ready for the climax, guys. Get ready for the climax. So uh, you're you're gonna hear like a couple of plot twists uh, real quick, but but we're gonna get down to the climax, guys. We have a climax today, guys. We have a climax. It's like Jamie Mar H T X X X, Jamie Mar T X, Jamie Mar N S F W, and Jamie's Co Tour to so create and promote content on places like OnlyFans as well as X, formerly known as Twitter. This man put all the names in there. He put all the names in there. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna get into the names very soon because I saw some information on Twitter. And Twitter, y'all some internet detectives, bro. Y'all some internet detectives, <laughs> bro. Y'all found the niggas old yeah. ass. Like, bro, y'all found his old Crazy. ass. But we're gonna get into that soon. I ran across the comment from user Red Warfus on Instagram, who suggested Googling. Oh, wow. So basically somebody on Instagram exposed him he actually did his digging and this is how this video came about man and jamie mar nsfw to yeah he loves taking bbc that's what he says oh man oh man say it in soul bro say it in soul quote t sketch in his true form yo i ain't gonna lie i didn't even read that last part he loves taking bbc <laughs> <laughs> yo y'all gotta chill bro as you clearly can see right here you know what i'm saying they found the information on the internet it says it's too graphic for youtube you see the leaked oh, content shit. you see the instagram all that stuff bro this man is doing his research and you can see he blocked out something that's now, it. I, I could be wrong but people are saying that he's disabled and he very well might be i, I don't know much about sketch though like i don't care like where he put us puts his pee pee if he puts his pee pee in poo poo uh with, with with another adult and it's a consenting adult i got no issues okay you do you boo boo i, I got none to do with that right but uh apparently Apparently, people are saying that he's disabled, and he, uh, 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 but right now, people are also saying that is he really disabled or was he just acting or playing a character, right? Because if he really was disabled, how did he know how to suck a BBC two years ago, right? So, yeah, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, receipts are coming out right now, and wait for the climax, guys something about nude or something like that yeah it's, it's getting bad man it's really easy to connect the dots because hcxx obviously means you know houston so yeah it's pretty obvious it's getting bad bro and they found more information they got stuff on reddit stuff on twitter it's something that i really don't want to show on my channel because i don't know what's gonna happen but just know 
it's very graphic you feel what i'm saying like it's very graphic even like them blocking it out it's still i don't think it's still good for my channel now with certain images that i've seen on twitter that obviously i cannot put on my channel and yeah we can see bro this clearly looks like the man you got the the, the dot in the forehead the, the yeah. little indent what is that a pimple or something i ain't gonna lie bro <laughs> ai is is a crazy thing so i can't sit here and, and, and say his hand. yeah in the very beginning people were like okay so it's probably like ai right it's probably fake but but then they saw the glasses they saw the pimple in the forehead right and they're like no that's a that's a hundred percent match and, and you're gonna see like so this is like a couple of hours old right we, we got the new updated material coming up right now and, and we got like conclusive evidence and you, you're gonna see the climax because this is like small plot here small plot there the plot is thickening and as we get go through it the plot is gonna continue to thicken but what i'm saying is that get ready for the climax guys yeah the climax is why you're here bros the climax is why you're here um as of right now um but it's more information that that's having me really question what i'm thinking right now you feel what i'm saying because I, feel you, like, I, feel like, I don't keep up with this guy you know what i mean i just see Same. him here and there and i see him do positive things and to yeah. see something like this happen it's, it's it's kind of an eye opener, man. But at the same time, people do their own thing. You know what I'm saying you can't you can't get on people for doing their own thing. You know I can't even say that because when I found out about the meat mill situation, I was uh, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of like damn. But yeah, um, Damn. that's more images. We got uh this other one that clearly you know what I'm saying they, they trying to line up the glasses with his glasses that he wears. They're they're doing some some deep diving, and it's, it's a lot of people saying leak confirmed, leak confirmed. I'm not gonna lie, from these images it looks like him, but it really wasn't no confirmation until I saw this Twitter thread right here from someone by the name of Zeno CLB, and he said after investigating getting some usernames and locations about sketch i traced back his old twitter accounts and deleted tweets his cash app cash tag mhtv was in his twitter bio i put that same cash app in my browser and it directed me to the cash app profile kc standing for kylie cox he said if you don't believe me it's still not 100 percent confirmed and it's a picture of i guess from wayback machine because clearly this is not a, a the newest twitter um, this looks like og twitter like kind of like not og og but like from like but 2020 yeah. maybe 20 yeah tranquilo papi tranquilo tranquilo papi chulo tranquilo yeah nah i hear you brother i hear you though damn damn that's crazy though so he really gta role played as a as a mentally challenged person and uh, he's apparently not by the looks of it he could be i don't know but that's what's going on right now but check this roll it good night chat thank you so much so this is uh, Jinxie, I believe, right? Uh, he's very popular as well. I uh, I, I know him uh, because of Rainbow, Rainbow Six Siege, but he probably plays other game as well. Uh, Jinxie, right? If, if I'm not, yeah, yeah, check this. Good night, chat. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Good night, chat. I'm gonna fuck Sketch in the ass. No, there's no one going on. Me and Sketch are gonna fuck each other. Right in the does he know though does he know i don't think he knew at the time though so check 19 back. type let's, of twitter let's um, get back it to says this. everything that's that's shown in the screenshot you got the person from the video that showed all their ads and stuff and it says jamie mar htx and it says you know it has the flag in there it has a cowboy hat and it has a link to x videos i don't know what more you uh <laughs> what more proof you want bro like you know what i'm saying and then he said hey again i got information from an anonymous source he might reveal himself the cash app i posted earlier linked to kylie cox plus his number and his business email so it is 100 percent confirmed that jamie marr is in fact sketch i'll ask him if he's gonna post it somebody else said it's confirmed they have all from whatever program they're using i don't know what program this is what website this is they literally have emails aliases uh, I guess it's probably from Cash App. Something, bro. I, I don't, bro, these these niggas in, in the Aiden Loyals community, bro, they are just insane, bro. Them niggas really are deep in. Like. Yeah, the internet has really went detective mode, though. That is crazy, man. Holy hell. I don't even think... Yeah, right? Like, wh what's the sickest name? I forgot the sickest name, though. You know, the Breaking Bad lawyer, right? I forgot, I'm forgetting the name. I'm forgetting his name, bro. They were really sending pizzas to your house, like just from you seeing a picture of your that that Breaking Bad lawyer. Even he cannot save uh, this case. Even he cannot flip this uh, script around because the internet just uh, got the hold of some evidence and some documents, and now it is Joel guys. Face that shit is crazy. Like these niggas really be going hard for this nigga. That's crazy. They found all his information basically that tied all this in together and it says the image above provided by a cash app insider confirms the old twitter account of sketch jamie mar htx and the cash app linked to it in his bio are indeed his it is also showing his dad's business email connected to the cash app furthermore it verifies sketch's current phone number which he blocks out i, I appreciate that he definitely blocked that out that's some that's some running shit right there i ain't gonna lie and then you got people sending him requests on cash app i'm just gonna block that out you can you can just see what it, what it says but yeah they're trolling him right now a lot of people on the internet are trolling him and um yeah bro it's it's, it's looking kind of bad but honestly in my opinion 
I don't really care. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if you want to do what you want to do, you know what I'm saying, on the internet, do what you do. As long as you're not messing with the kids. You feel what I'm saying? As long as you're not facts. really messing with the kids. Facts, That's all facts, I care facts, about. Facts. You can do whatever you want to do on the internet. As long as you're not messing with the kids, murdering with somebody, you know, stuff like that, weird stuff, abusing women, shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Sketch's friends or the people that hang around them or have hung around them, like the phase members and, you know, Jinxies, they're looking kind of, you know what I'm saying, a lot, of, they're looking at stuff a lot, a lot differently. Like, for example, this clip by Jinxie is not aging well. Good night, chat. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Good night, Chad. I'm gonna fuck Sketch in the ass. No, there's no one going on. Me and Sketch are gonna f each other. If only he knew, bro. If only he knew. <laughs> I know you was joking around, but like, damn, bro. You know, with your homies, you have these kind of jokes, right? Like, yeah, like, but, but still, though. You know what I'm saying? And, and look at his face, bro. He's probably like, oh, crap. If he only knew, though, if he only knew, man, if he only knew. So, yeah, he's just uh, trying to role play right now. He's trying to stay hidden there, right? A crazy story, man. Insane. Right in the like I said, it's not aging well, but that's streamer culture, man. You always gonna get caught up in something. Then you got members from Faze like Plague Boy Max, Lacey, Stable Ronaldo. It. They all reacted to it. You know, they got got a little bit of a response. And here it is. Banks brought this nigga Sketch around, bro. And, you know, Sketch is a big ass name, bro. Sketch probably the most household name. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, bro. This nigga sketch, bro, was just genuine, cool as fuck. Just a good ass guy, bro. Facts like, I'm gonna be uh -huh. honest, just a good ass uh -huh. guy. I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all, bro. Um, niggas had no clue. I'm gonna be honest, bro. He get real hyper and eager when the hoes come around. So, shit. We just thought he was a regular straight we nigga with, we were at a, club. with a buzz cut. We were at a club. He left to go with a girl. Like, yeah, and it's not even about that. If the nigga gay, he gay, bro. He might be gay. I'm gonna be honest. We haven't heard from him. I don't know what's going on. Shit. He was sleeping on the couch with his butt out. No cap. Yeah, th th this is what I was talking about. <laughs> So this, he knew that he was sleeping on a couch with his butt up, so he knew, right? Like, so, yeah, he probably, he says that if he gay, he gay, though. So, yeah, he gay. But regardless, though, it's a long story. Regardless, bro, even if I hit the blunt after him, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Whether he gay or not, that's still my friend. I really don't care, bro. Facts. Now, Los Polos actually said one of the most mature things from this situation. Why the fuck do you care about what another man does, someone who made a bunch of you guys laugh and have a good time? Now, when it comes to somebody like a doctor disrespect, this quote does not apply. You feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas like, you feel me, like an EDP. Like, th this does not apply to niggas like that. Why do you care? I care because you messing with minors. But with this, it's kind of different. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, first of all, number one, whether Sketch is gay, bi, or straight, why the fuck do you care what another man does, okay? That is crazy. So sick is bringing. This is what I was talking about, man. Doctor disrespect is getting dragged into this one, and I feel like that for uh for years to come, he's gonna be dragged into this one over and over, bro. Because see, the thing is, the doctor disrespect is that he has self-admitted to some allegations, and he has not defended himself. People are defending him right now. People are also not defending him though, like, so there are both sides right now, right? Like, uh, we have been covering the news and all the updates for it. But, but Dr. Disrespect has put out that statement and he peaced out. Sickers are defending him, but he's not defending himself though. So that is uh, where we at. So right now, like, everybody's name dropping him. Everybody's like dragging him in and everybody's like, yeah, okay. So it, it, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not worse than Dr. Disrespect story. Uh, and, and yeah, like, situation is completely after. Wait for this. That's just, that's just off the rip. So for someone who made a, a, a bunch of you guys laugh and have a good time for you to go, oh, he's gay now, fuck him. That's really fucked up. But again, if you just never cared about him, whatever, it's fine. Say what you want. There's people in the chat saying that he was in gay. You want me to open gay? On my fucking live stream? My whole take on the situation is, who really cares, bro? Y'all fuck with Sketch for the comedy shit on the stream, for how he acts and shit like that. Y'all don't fuck with Sketch for this shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I do understand where people are coming from. Like, damn, like the streamer I watch all the time, this is what he's doing behind the scenes and shit. But you never really know people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. this really don't affect me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm facts, not facts. <laughs> I'm not affected. F facts. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not affected either. I'm not a victim in this one. So, but I definitely understand where people are coming from. Like, for example, like with the Meek Mill situation. Mind you, I'm a big fan of Meek Mill. So when I heard certain situations or certain stuff. About about that okay, I'm not caught up on the Meek Mill. I'm not caught up. I was like, damn, I made a whole video about it. But like, damn, I was huh? trolling. Like, I'm saying, I'm not homophobic, by the way. Even though I am Jamaican and the culture of Jamaicans, they just. Bumble club, Batty boy, fat pom pom, bumble club, brother. Bumble club, bumble club, Batty boy, Batty boy. So you feel me? It's fire for that. You feel what I'm saying? Bun it, bun it. But. You feel me like as long as you're not making no advances <laughs> towards me i'm cool you feel, you feel me like just do your yeah. own thing i advise y'all do not go search up these ads uh, i didn't do it myself but i saw a lot of people scarred for life and uh you know what i'm saying had to go back to sleep oh yeah a lot of people have been scarred for life and and check this so doctor disrespect links with tfus this is a the joke blockbuster. Blockbuster. You know he's getting dragged into this the tapes oh my god love bro blockbuster. Blockbuster. blockbuster you know what blockbuster is the tapes 
Oh my god. You love are, Doc though. He would love me more if I was 17. <laughs> Bumbo cut! And then we also got his response. So Sketch comes out and confirms the LGTB, uh, LGBTQOF allegations. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm a changed person, he said. Oh. Yeah, so after all the debate, after all the drama, after all the rumors, after all, whether it was an AI or not, uh, circus have been they're trying to make sure it's a perfect match with the pimple on his head. After all that debate, though, he actually said this. Roll it. Open it on us. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what. Okay. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. Um. Cap. This is going worse than I thought it was. Um. Uh oh. So still, like, no disrespect though, right? Like, if he's mentally challenged, if he's um, uh, me and mentally unfit, no disrespect though, right? Uh, but but right now, a lot of people are like, okay, are you really mentally unfit or are you playing the character? So two years ago, the way I did like not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did, possibly. <sighs> Catch out of bag. It's okay. Um, what else do I have to say? I don't know. Thank you to all my people that have been sticking up for me. I understand if you're bad. Sticking up what, bro? Hey, hey, hey. Pump the brakes. Sticking up what, bro? Sticking up what? Shit hit the fan. I okay, I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. BBC is BBC. Second BBC. But that's the verdict, ladies and gentlemen, and, and people are saying sketch check in why he's trending. Guys, click on this video on the screen because yesterday another nuke went off. I'm not sure if you saw the SAR bomba actually go off in the gaming community. This is also trending online. But what is going on in gaming? I don't know. I don't know. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.